I'm in my bathroom, which means that I am about to do a nighttime skincare routine. And this one is for people with dry skin. It's pretty straightforward. There aren't that many steps, but I think you'll see it's pretty impactful. Before I get started, this video does include a sponsorship with Alpha H. I have talked about this product before. It's their Liquid Gold Midnight Reboot Serum. This stuff is amazing, and I'll tell you all about it in just a bit. But first, let's get into a little double cleanse action. All right, so the thing with dry skin is you wanna make sure that you're not taking away too many of your natural lipids. This goes for everybody. You know, even people with oily skin, I feel like the biggest issue, and you've heard me talk about this, is that we tend to strip our skin, and it starts with the cleanse. So when you have dry skin, you're the kind of person who can really go for those nice, rich, emollient oils and balms and anything that's going to really replenish your skin and absolutely not strip your skin. It's going to do the opposite of that. So I'm going to go in with one of my all-time favorites. This is from Elemis. This is the Pro Collagen Summer Bloom Cleansing Balm. So it's essentially the original cleansing balm, but with a new fragrance to it. It smells a little like baby oil or something, but then as you like actually dig into it and put it onto your skin, you realize it smells really nice and floral-like, but the initial scent is, is a little interesting. But either way, I love the texture of this. If you've been following me for a long time, you know that this was like one of my favorite cleansing balms. And the reason for that is because it's just so rich. I mean, it has all these beautiful oils in it. It's been a long time since I've even like looked at what the ingredients are exactly, but this is, when it comes to having like a rich balm or rich oil, cleansing oil, this kind of is at the height of it, right? So like I hear people say that they love it, or sometimes it's a little too much for them. In your case, if you have dry skin, you're gonna love this. Like it melts down into this oil texture. It's still very balmy. Mm. And see, now that it's melted down, that floral fragrance is so much prettier. I put this onto my dry skin. You all know the drill when it comes to double cleansing. I always start with dry skin. So I'm just gonna go ahead and massage this all over my face and get that makeup off. For those who are unsure of double cleansing, if you have dry skin, even if you don't wear a lot of makeup, I really feel like this is an opportunity to add some nourishment to your skin and gently remove everything that you're wearing. Even if you're not wearing a ton of makeup, you can still use it to break down all that sunscreen that you probably are using. And it's gonna nourish your skin. It's gonna help prep it for that next step when you go in with your second cleanser. I know the thought of like cleansing twice sounds like it would be drying, but when you use a really nice, rich, nourishing oil or cleansing balm like I'm using, you're not gonna strip your skin, trust me. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go onto my eyes, then I'm gonna emulsify and rinse it off. For those who don't know what I mean by emulsify, let me just show you really quick. This isn't how I really do it. Like in real life, I would be over the sink kind of doing this, but it's just when it gets that milky texture, you know it's breaking everything down. And look how my eye makeup broke down. Now I'm gonna really rinse, I'll be back. Okay, so I rinsed that off my face. My face is still wet. I'm gonna go in with this from my brand, Naturium. This is our multi-calm cream cleanser. I love, I love this cleanser. And you can see it does have a really creamy, almost cloud-like texture to it. It has really nourishing ingredients to it. It's a low lather. And so it's not going to strip your skin. And I think that's the thing that you need to know is that if you have dry skin, you can find cleansers that won't strip. And sometimes lather doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to be cleaner skin. It just might strip your skin. Not always. Formulation matters. But I love this stuff. It feels so nice and calming on your skin. It almost feels like you're putting a cleansing lotion on your face. All right, I'm gonna rinse. All right, so I am nice and clean. I actually put a little lip balm on because I've been just needing the lip balm lately. So I went in with some lip balm already. So I'm a little glassy, as you can see, I'm using this from my brand, Naturium. So you know that there's gonna be an active. There's gonna be some kind of a retinol or something in my skincare routine if it's a nighttime skincare routine. But when you have dry skin, I love to go in with something like this. This is by Vichy. This is their Mineral 89 Prebiotic Concentrate. And the reason why I like this is because it is hydrating. You know, it's kind of similar to a hyaluronic acid serum. But what I love is that this also has an ingredient, the prebiotic in it, that helps to soothe your skin and also even just nourish your skin before you go in with something like a retinoid or an AHA, which you'll see we're about to go in with. So I'm just gonna put 
a little bit of this on my skin to prep it. Let me show you that texture. See, it's just like a hyaluronic acid serum as far as like the way you would use it, but in my opinion, much more nourishing. I love the way this makes my skin feel. It does give that immediate glow and I love it. All right, next step, and this is a very, very important step in this skincare routine. This is from Alpha H, like I said earlier, this is their Liquid Gold Midnight Reboot Serum. You have heard me talk about this before because I love this stuff. I love the texture of it. I love the ingredients in it. I just love everything going on with this product. The reason why I think this is great for a dry skin, nighttime skincare routine is because I always hear people with dry skin, very specifically people with dry skin, they always tell me that they don't wanna go in with a really strong retinoid. And if you know me, I'm always going to say, you need to eventually get a retinoid into your skincare routine because that's gonna be the game changer for you. But most people with dry skin said that they prefer glycolic acid. This is almost across the board what I hear from people. They're like, I would rather do glycolic acid than do a retinoid. Well, this does both. This has both of those kinds of ingredients for you. So this does have 14% glycolic acid. And if you don't know, glycolic acid is an AHA. It's an alpha hydroxy acid, meaning that it's going to help exfoliate your skin. The reason why I like AHAs for dry skin specifically is because they're less drying. They're actually, in fact, more hydrating for your skin, especially depending on the pH level that you are using them at. So this has glycolic acid. It's at 14%, like I said. 14% is even better because above 10%, there are studies that show that glycolic acid above 10% can actually stimulate collagen production, which is what we're trying to accomplish with our retinoid. So if you're going to skip the retinoid at night and go with an AHA, then you're going to want to use something that's a higher percentage, at least 10% or up. But what I also love about this is the other mix of ingredients in here. So they also have 1% gran active retinoid in here. And what that is, is a retinoid that's very gentle on your skin and just kind of gradually introduces you to to retinoids. So if you're really new to retinoids, if you have dry skin, this is a really great way to kind of introduce the whole retinoid experience into your skincare routine while also getting the benefits of that high percentage glycolic acid. But then on top of that, what I also love is that they have this tripeptide 5 that also helps to hydrate your skin and helps stimulate that collagen. There's ferulic acid so you get your antioxidants in there. And then it has this beautiful, just great texture to it. It's very, very nourishing for your skin. It's like a dry skin person's dream. It really is, as far as an active goes. Mmm, look at how pretty that is. So I just get that all over my face, and then I put it onto my neck. If you can get it onto your chest, that's always a good idea as well, because your face doesn't stop at your neck. It goes all the way down to your nipples. It just makes my skin look nice and glowy. If you deal with any discoloration on your skin or even, you know, like clogged pores or, you know, you just want to get ahead of the aging process, these are the right ingredients that you should be looking for. They're all in one product. So you get your AHAs, the exfoliation, you get your retinoid, a little like dose of it just to introduce you to it. And then you get your peptides. It really is a great product and your antioxidants with the ferulic acid. Glowing. And then last to end the routine, because I have dry skin, I'm gonna go in with something I call double moisturization. I'm gonna use these two products from my own brand, Naturium. This is our Plant Ceramide Rich Moisture Cream and then our Intense Overnight Sleeping Cream. I don't do this every single night. During the winter, I probably do it even more so, but I do this occasionally, like about two or three times a week, and I love it, and I'm gonna tell you why. So the way I like to think of it is, first I'm gonna go in with a little bit of a lighter moisturizer that really helps to replenish the natural lipids in my skin. So we have different plant ceramides in here, squalane, which your skin immediately recognizes. And that's a good way for your skin to just kind of absorb it and really utilize it. And it feels like butter that melts down on your skin. You can see that look. You almost think because of the name that says plant ceramide rich, that it's going to be super, super thick, but it actually doesn't feel that thick. It's just gonna melt down and it feels so good. It really does replenish your skin. And whenever my skin feels like it's just completely dried out, I always go to this moisturizer because it immediately feels like it just replenishes my skin. Like my skin absorbs it like a sponge. So I'm gonna go in with this first so it really just restores those natural lipids. That's really what I'm trying to accomplish. 
and you can see it gives me that nice dewy kind of finish. And then I'm gonna go in with our Intense Overnight Sleeping Cream. And I wanna show you, I think I'm almost done with this, but it has this really rich, rich kind of thick texture to it. And so this is meant to be more like a sleeping mask. On camera, it kind of just looks like another moisturizer. And you know, technically it is. I think some people I speak to say they use it as a moisturizer. That's not how I think of it. It does leave like a little bit more of a layer on your skin. You can feel it. It's thicker than the Plant Ceramide Rich Moisture Cream. I like it to have that little bit of a layer, just a little bit. Because when you go to sleep, you wake up the next day and you are so plump and dewy and moisturized and the reason for that is because that layer like kind of took its time to just absorb into my skin so it's protecting your skin and also absorbing slowly and I feel like my skin just loves the way it works like that so that double moisture you get the replenishment from the first moisturizer and then you get to lock it all in and slowly absorb all the moisture and also you can see it melts down. It's a little less of a dewy finish than the moisturizer I used before it, but I think that's why so many people like it, no matter what their skin type is, they love the sleeping cream. Look at that. I think I am ready to go to sleep. I'm so tired. I am moisturized. I will wake up feeling nice and dewy and plump in the morning even with my dry skin, so I'm ready to go. If you have any questions, you can ask me in the comments below. You can also share some of your favorite dry skin products. Maybe I haven't even tried them. I always wanna know. You can also find me on Instagram. I'm at Susan Yara, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.